Hey guys, this is Eddie. We're now up to our fifth lesson on matrices. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Okay, so just before we continue with this, I just want to test you guys quickly on whether you remember how to multiply two matrices together. So I have two matrices on the screen and I want you to try multiply them. So I want you to give me firstly A times B and I want you to find out what it is then I want you to tell me what B times A is. Okay so get that done and come back uh, resume the video once you're finished. Okay so what have you guys found? Well A times B is equal to 28, 38, 50 and 68 and then B times A is equal to 38, 50, 44, 58 and surprisingly A times B is not the same as B times A and this is actually true for almost all matrices except one special case so unlike normally in algebra when we're dealing with uh, variables that just contain one number so if uh, a and b if x y are real numbers x times y equals y times x right but if a and b are matrices if A and B are matrices then A times B does not equal B times A so that's something you have to remember about uh, matrices now the one single exception is the identity matrix and the identity matrix is simply a matrix with uh, the number 1 down the leading diagonal so for example if I had A uh, using the matrix A above the identity matrix for matrix A would be 1, 1, 0, 0 where it has the number 1 down the diagonal so this is called the identity matrix and let's see what happens with an identity matrix so let's do so let's give it a symbol I so I want you guys to now try A times I and tell me what the answer is so using the A from above and then do I times A and tell me what the answer is okay come back when you're done and you can probably see that the answer for both of these is 2 3 4 5 so 2 3 4 5 and therefore AI is equal to IA right now the identity matrix can only be defined for square matrices that is uh, matrices where M is equal to N the number of rows equals the number of columns alright number of rows okay so I've written that out and now uh, let's see why that is so if we have a matrix that is rectangular or that has M does not equal to N so let's call it A let's change up A now to give you a rectangular one where one uh, we got more uh, columns than rows so I'm gonna make it three two zero one five two right 
Now, obviously, this has uh, this is a two by three matrix. So, in order to multiply, in order to set up an identity matrix that you can multiply this with, it has to have the same number of rows as the columns. So, uh, it has to have three by three. Okay, so let's draw ones down the leading diagonal and then I have zero filling in the rest and try to multiply them and come back when you're done. So you can see that you've ended up with the same matrix 320152 but here's the problem okay if you try to do IA it's not going to work because uh, I has n times n m rows which is 3 times 3 and A has 2 times 3 which is uh, and remember how Sorry, I'll use N and P just to be consistent with the other lessons. And A has 2 times 3, and these two numbers are not equal. Right? The number of columns in the first matrix that you're multiplying does not equal the number of rows. So therefore, you can't do it. Okay, therefore, an identity matrix cannot be defined for matrices that are not square okay uh, I think we'll stop here for today and next lesson we're going to talk about the multiplicative well that's hard to pronounce inverse okay so I'll see you guys next time